The inter-party resistance against the new voters' register has resumed mass protest after the EC announced new date for the registration of Ghanaian voters. It accused the Electoral Commission for showing bad faith. The group said it has taken a disturbing note of the EC's declaration of April 18 to begin the compilation of a new register. A release signed by a leading member of the group, Bernard Mona, said it also considered the action by the EC as an act of utter disrespect and disregard to the EC's own establishment. The Committee of Eminent Advisors and Civil Society Organizations involved in the discussion. The release recalled the announcement of the suspension of a planned public manifestations in Accra for one week to allow for engagement with the EC as a sign of good faith and respect for the EC, its eminent persons and the Utumfo. It said the EC has taken the anger and will of the people for granted for spitting the good conscience of resistance in the invitation of political parties to a meeting and yet announcing a date. The release announced the withdrawal of of the momentary suspension of public manifestations whilst declaring to proceed with a series of mass action earlier outlined. All right, so joining me in the studio now is a member of the Interparty Resistance Against the New Voters Register, Bernard Mona. Bernard, has the EC done any wrong? Um, they have the mandate to do the activity they want to do, uh, but you find their action as uh, a deception. Why is that? The EC does not have a mandate to vulgar expenditure. Which part of our law says that the EC can engage in such wanton dissipation of our resources just because the law says that they are responsible for managing our elections and political parties affairs. That does not impel the Electoral Commission to be engaged in the wanton dissipation of our resources and vulgar expenditure that the Electoral Commission intends to embark on. And so I don't know which of the mandates we are talking about. I'm talking about the mandate to compile a new voters which register. We took the, decision, we to took the so. decision in 2012 to compile a biometric voters register, knowing very well that once your biometric features are captured, they are ingrained in the system permanently and forever. Mm. And therefore, there is no need to go and redo another biometric register. And once you capture your biometric register anywhere in the world, that is what you use for as long as you exist on Earth. Right. And importantly, if you are not alive, your biometric features are of no use to anybody because nobody can impersonate you with your fingerprints. But if the East Electoral Commission think that the fact that they have a duty to compile a new a voter's register, it means that after the nation took a deliberate policy to capture biometric data, they can be changing it as if we are changing our addresses, then the Electoral Commission is wrong. Mm. We decided to embark on it. 2011 equipment were bought for the biometric register that we have. 2013, some of the equipment were replaced. 2015, the equipment were replaced. So it means that the equipments are replaceable by the record of the Electoral Commission own handling. Right. We have been able to repair and refurbish some of the equipment to function appropriately. The recent argument that the Electoral Commission is making is that the equipments are outdated. If your equipment are outdated, it has nothing to do with the data that is in the system. We have said this time without number that there is enough technical expertise, right. there is enough administrative and economic knowledge out there that if the Electoral Commission is willing, we are willing to work with well, them. As, so we, as, as we have all seen, the EC is bent on, you know, working But the, the EC register. must they not have, be allowed to do things date. against the will of the people. Mm. The EC owes its office because the people of Ghana created an institution called the Electoral Commission. Right. And the constitution fortified that office. The constitution allowed you the president, you don't think the president of Ghana, of the public. The EC is, look, even minor things like limited registration, the EC flopped in three ways. One, they said that their biometric devices were not repairable. They repaired them. Mm. They said they were going to do registration in only 260 district offices. We told them that it was not possible. The EC did not listen to advice. When it was critical, the EC created 1,700 registration centers. Right. The EC projected just 500,000 people on the new register. Mm. We told them that they should be expecting 1.8. They did not listen. They registered 1.2 million people. Right. Common projection, the election, Electoral Commission is not able to do right. so. So it's 
obvious that even on minor issues, this EC has shown incapacity of handling. You want to allow them to take the nation for ransom and, and back on a major exercise like a mass registration of our people. Mm. The mess will be so gangantuan that this nation cannot contain it. Well, we're, we're in an election here, here you know, and, and some would say that time is of the essence. Don't you think that the EC should go ahead with the activity? And go ahead with what? Dialogue? Anytime there is no consensus on any matter at the Electoral Commission, the statu quo remain. That is why when it was Afarijan's time, and then they brought the biometric devices. Myself, I walked out of the Electoral Commission. You can check your archives. Mm. The now Minister for Education, Matthew Poku Prempe, also joined in that protest. Later, Jeko Tanka Obichebilamti joined us, and eventually the Electoral Commission set up the technical committee to review the processes for consensus to be achieved. Right. And when that consensus was achieved, we went further to say that if you did biometric registration, you must do biometric verification. And that brought about the cliche, no verification, no vote. Consensus was reached before we got to that point. In 2016, when there was no agreement, the Electoral Commission allowed the status quo to remain. Why is this Electoral Commission behaving as if they don't understand what it means to combat the electoral issues in this country? Right. Have you considered, has the group considered going to court? As um, I have said, as I've said, going to court is part of our legitimate means. Demonstrating is part of our legitimate means. And we have said that at uh, Chapter 6 of the 1992 Constitution, which grants all the fundamental human rights, and joins us to go on our public demonstration. If it's about going to court, you do know that we have some of the best lawyers, and that some of us are also good at going to court. But no one should compel us as to which angle we should go. This is one of the legitimate means, and we are doing everything within the laws of Ghana to ensure that we compel the good thing that the nation deserves. We want peace. We want to ensure that we are able to safeguard our democracy and our elections. The right. Electoral Commission is doing everything possible to make these processes um, bastardized. Mm. We don't want that to happen. Let me hold your thought for a minute because I've been joined by, on the line by Jonathan Asantiochi. He is a lecturer at UCC and a political analyst. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <coughs> Why? I, I'm sure that you have heard and seen the development from the inter-party resistance against um, the new voters register. They, 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 they claim that the EC has not acted in good faith. Do you agree? Well, good afternoon to you and good afternoon to your viewers on TV3. I think that um, the reason why they might have suspended the intended uh, demonstration in Greater Accra was because... Uh, the eminent body wanted to meet them, and they wanted to meet the eminent body. Now, the eminent body, more or less, had already told the EC officials that, look, you need to engage all stakeholders so that you know, peace will prevail. And so when I was in the studios, I said, well, probably the eminent body is still not yet satisfied. Now, if we go ahead with the organization and then the compilation, of the voters register. Have we in any way submitted any report to the eminent body? I'm very sure that they have not. And so I think that we have a long way to go. So if anybody would have announced the date of registration and compilation forthwith, I think that that person is probably, you know, jumping before leaping, or more or less leaping before crawling. Right, and in this case, the EC. So you, you don't think that the EC has done the right thing by going ahead um, setting a date, April 18th? Well, you see, um, they might have had, they, 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 probably they, they have the right to do so. But you see, when you listen to some of the political speeches that are going about, you will understand that, look, a, a particular party is more or less ahead of all other parties. Now, that creates a suspicion. I think, you know, they might have been told that, look, Get ready, we've already prepared, and so go ahead and train all your people that you want them to do or take a, you know, a particular position as far as the elections are concerned. And so I think that, more or less, we need to still further engage. And I still believe that the UC still, you know, more or less, uh, they have a particular opportunity to ensure that the right thing is done. And unless probably the way things are going, unless probably the appointing authority should come in and say that, look, and they are going to do that in the background anyway. Look, take heed, hold your brakes, 
I think that the way you want to progress will not inure to the benefit of the nation. Right. Therefore, take heed and stop that. That is the only reason, that is the only means by which we'll be able to stop this particular compilation. Other than that, we are all at risk. Right, and so we you, have to brace ourselves. You, and you, I will you engage... Think, right. Yeah. I was just going to add that, so you think that we need some more dialogue in between, you know, the, uh, the inter-party resistance group and the EC. But time is of the essence. Yes, we, did, we do need that. You see, because there is no way you are going to dialogue and be holding a cutlass and a gun on the head of those that you are dialoguing with. That's not the best way to go. The best way to go is that we must all hold our briefs and then go to the table and then do that discussion. But I think that the EC has itself not been able to respect the, the eminent body because I'm not aware that they've been able to submit any report that which was mandated by the eminent body that go ahead and dialogue and engage all other stakeholders further and further. I think that that has not yet been done. All right, thank you very much. Uh, Jonathan Asantiotri is a lecturer at the UCC and a political analyst. But still in the studio with thank me you. is Bennett Mona. He speaks for the Inter-Party Resistance Against the New Voters Register. What is your next line of action? You have said in your statement you will resume your, your mass protest. Absolutely. We, we have planned series of activities that we intend to embark on. It will include demonstration, picketing, and many other forms of public manifestation that falls within the laws of Ghana to ensure that we are able to safeguard our democratic processes and by extension our electoral integrity. The Electoral Commission must be minded by their own credo that their mission is to provide a transparent, fair and in what we call integrity elections. They have failed so far, and I'm saying that so far by every work that the Electoral Commission has done, a proper audit will show that this Electoral Commission has failed in everything they do, including projections, including lying to the people of Ghana that equipments were not repairable, and yet the equipment, when repaired, can right. function 99.4 percent. This Electoral for, Commission that, that... is not trustworthy, right. and we don't think that they have the capacity to do what they are going to do, aside the vulgar expenditure mm. that is involved. Mm. And the date for your crowd demonstration is when? Well, we are rescheduling it because of our suspension and respect for the mm. eminent advisory body right. and also for the respect we have for the Asante Inu, the Otum for Osei to okay. the second. And, but what the Electoral Commission has done is apparently to spit in the face of the mm. eminent body. So it means that and the, also the, the, the group will meet to uh, uh, determine a new date? Obviously, we met yesterday and that was the outcome right. that you saw. And what saw. was the outcome? Was, the was outcome is that we can... Established? No, we, we have re establish the Greater Accra Local Organizing Committee to put in place. So hopefully by Monday, Tuesday, you'll hear from us. All right. Thank you very much. And that's uh, Bernard Mona, member of the Inter-Party Resistance Against the New Forces Register.